Hey guys, it's Erin and Dusty and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. So today we are responding to a request that we've had for more cooked food. So we thought naturally we have to cook our favorite Indian food. <laughs> so when we go out to eat, our favorite type of food to eat is just ethnic cuisine in general, mainly because it tastes great, but also because it's really, really easy to find plant-based options free of any animal products. So Indian food is our favorite. Right. Out of Japanese, Thai, Indian is where it's at. We're gonna make you a lentil dal, roasted uh, curry cauliflower, and some brown rice. We make it at least once a week, and we're gonna show you guys that now. Enjoy. For this recipe, you will need one head of cauliflower, one red onion, about one cup of frozen or fresh green peas, one cup of brown rice, one cup of red split lentils, one yellow or sweet onion, two cloves of garlic, curry powder, and then you will also want to have on hand salt and pepper. I recommend a sea salt or a pink Himalayan salt. That's what this is. It's very high in natural minerals. And then black cracked pepper. Quick side note, if you guys are new to Indian cooking or you're just in a bind and a time crunch or your, your spice cabinet may not be fully stocked yet, then something you'll want to have on hand is curry powder. It has all of the essential great Indian spices that really bring the dishes to life, all bottled into one in the perfect proportions. Let me read to you the list just so you get the idea. It's got coriander, turmeric, mustard, cumin, fenugreek, paprika, cayenne, cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. So if you don't feel like going out and buying all of those and measuring out a bunch of different ingredients, I recommend curry powder. It gives every dish an incredible flavor. And then on that note, also I would like to mention, you should also use cracked black pepper. I can actually link to a nutritionfacts.org video that Dr. Gregor put together talking about how black pepper actually unlocks and activates a lot of the anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory benefits of turmeric and curcumin. So black pepper combined with the curry powder is gonna give you the best benefit. Okay guys, so after you rinse your grains, we use a two to one ratio. So if you have one cup of grains or lentils, we use two cups of water to boil them down. Easy peasy. Also, we preheat the oven for the cauliflower and the peas and the onion while our grains are cooking because they take quite a long time. I, I am crying a little bit from the red onion. We've got the red onion chopped, but first we're gonna put our cauliflower with our curry powder and our salt in the preheated oven. We have it preheated to 425. We're gonna throw it in for about 10 to 12 minutes and keep an eye on it, and then we're gonna add our red onion. got your cauliflower roasting and you're working on your red lentil dal, you're going to want to have the red lentils, the onions and garlic sautéing, so we've got them on medium heat, and I'm going to add one tablespoon about of curry powder. Add a crack of 
black pepper and salt to taste. Okay, these lentils are pretty much done. They now need to go in to our Nutribullet and we blend up about half of it and it gives it that really good creamy dull consistency. It's gonna be great. Okay guys, we have made the mistake in the past of blending this and then just taking the top off, but the truth is there's like 20,000 pounds of pressure in here when you put the hot lentils in, so be careful when you blend it. Take that lid off really, really slow. But you pour that in and mix it in with these with the rest of the lentils and onions and it just is so good. It gives it that perfect consistency. We should be ready to eat here real soon. So we'll let that sit for just a couple minutes. The rice is almost done and our cauliflower actually needs to come out and we need to add our peas. And we're just gonna do that real quick like and put that back in for just a couple minutes all right you guys so the kitchen is warm the house smells like spices and i am ready to dig in are you guys ready to see the final spread okay this is everything you need for your at home indian inspired dinner and a movie we've got our brown rice topped with just a little sprinkle of cilantro We've got our curry roasted cauliflower with peas and red onions, and my personal favorite, the red lentil dal. If you wanna really make the flavors just kind of pop, what a lot of Indian recipes call for is just a squeeze of lemon and a little bit of shredded up cilantro on top, and it really just completes the dish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let us know if you wanna see more cooked dinners like this. Oh, and one other thing. Right here we've got a whole wheat. This is just like a tortilla. It's Ezekiel bread actually. It's all sprouted, all whole grains. Um, it goes really great alongside to dip or scoop. You can also look at getting naan bread, which is a traditional Indian bread, kind of like a pita, just a really puffy, fluffy, thick bread. I don't really eat too many breads or grains. Dusty loves it. Either way, it really can help complete the meal for you. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Indian food is our favorite. We're always looking for new recipes. And I would like to mention also, a good movie you should watch is Lion. Right. You guys have heard of the actor Dev Patel. It's an Indian movie, so have yourself a dinner and a movie. It's incredible. It just yeah. came out on Apple TV. Right. And one other resource for you guys, if you want to feel all Indian inspired, is... Vegan this. Richa. We love Vegan Richa. Yeah. Awesome, super simple cookbook. You can tell we use it a lot. It's all bookmarked. Awesome pictures. Some are really easy, some are really involved, but we love it. It's really what has brought us into the Indian cooking game. Without it, we would, we would have been lost. So yeah. anyway, check out Vegan Richa. And if you guys liked this video, you know the drill. Mm -hmm. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. What else? Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell so you'll get notified whenever we post new videos. Yep. Yeah, leave a comment and let us know what's in your spice cabinet, what kind of Indian spices you love, how you like to incorporate them. Right. And uh, social media. Social media is the last thing. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, Instagram. Yep. All the social media stuff, we're there at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. So. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.